I'm Bill, I'm with Kelly Moto TV. Welcome back to the channel, welcome back to the garage, and welcome back to 2023 BMW M1000R is up on the lift finally for its major modifications. That's right, we got our parts from Manny over at Moto Million, and, and uh, Brent Toon has also got me uh, handheld, tune velocity stacks and everything. So today we're starting to tear the bike apart. Now, I wanna give you guys a little, um, info on this video. I'm not going to be filming a DIY again on doing the headers and stuff like that. I've already done that video on the S1000R and basically it's the same exact thing. So instead of taking the time, I'd rather just rip this thing apart, get it over with and uh, bring you guys on the journey. So if you guys are looking to put a full header on your M1000R, S1000RR, S1000R, I have a video. I'm going to link it above and um, that's going to walk you through everything you need. Now, later on, I'm gonna be taking the top off. Today, we're just gonna be doing the header, but I'm gonna be taking the top off and getting all the box and the velocity stacks and everything like that. That we'll do a video on because I haven't done an install video on velocity stacks. So today we're doing, uh, we're gonna rip off both the sides. We're gonna get the um, radiator guards uh, set in uh, and the header put in today. And both of those are courtesy of Manny over at Moto Million. So if you guys are interested in this setup, uh, link is down below to this, but we do have everything here. Here's the titanium arrow header that we'll be throwing on today. The Dicey 83 um, radiator guards will go on. We also have some TWM gas cap and axle um, adjusters. And from Brendan over at Brentoon, we have velocity stacks, a handheld air uh, temperature relocation, and we have the block off. This will all be done later on. This is not gonna be done today. So today what we're gonna do is speed up real quick and we're gonna rip off both sides. So basically everything is coming off over here and everything is coming off over here. So we can have access to our radiators to put the radiator guards on and to get right in there to the Heather. So without further ado, let's, um, let's get, I guess, time lapse of start this um and we'll stop by and say hello every once in a while but again this video is really just um hey here we are doing it so uh let's get going And just like that, about 15 minutes and all of the side fairings are torn off. So we've got everything exposed for the radiator guards, which we'll put on right now. And then we have everything kind of exposed for the header that's gonna be coming off. So basically all the side fairings, you'll see the winglets, the, the front guard, the side guards, all of that is all off. And we're gonna go ahead and throw the radiator guards on First, now um, the radiator guards are really easy because they're just basically held in by these screws down here. So uh, basically you're gonna basically get this unscrewed here for the radiator guards and they basically go there, there and zip tie up and that's it. So let's go ahead and throw the radiator guards on and then start tackling that, uh, that header. And just like that, we have radiator guards. So um, they fit almost perfect. This one's just, I need to get this pushed in just past this little guard. Looks like I need to probably just bend in the middle a little bit, just kind of concave it in a little bit, but fits very, very nice, very nice and secure. So um, now, now we tackle the header, which is the big part. Uh, that's gonna be a couple hours. So I'll bring you guys back for updates every once in a while, but uh, next up, removing the header. All right, there we have it. The arrow header 
is installed and the uh, Leo Vinci exhaust is on and we're ready for the first start. Now, uh, you know, you guys have asked me in the past about springs and how do you get them on? Look, you just gotta be patient with this thing. You gotta take your time. Uh, probably took me about two hours to do it. Get the old one off, took me 20 minutes. Uh, but getting the springs on there, you know, my knuckles hurt. Um, getting the bolts on there and everything. So it, uh, it's clean. We've wiped it down with alcohol, so there's not gonna be any fingerprints. Make sure you wipe it down, especially in this area, because this is gonna be showcased, you know, on the exhaust, because there's the S1000R. You can see that pipe is sitting there. Hi, doggo. If you haven't met Vixen, this is Vixen. Um, so yeah, Leo Vinci exhaust. I wasn't able to get a, a titanium can, so this is stainless, but it should blew up to here. I don't know, we might change this out if I can get a Leo titanium uh, with carbon, but they aren't available right now. So uh, we've got that one for now, but let's go ahead and get our first start here. Ooh, I'm excited, I'm excited. Uh, no tune yet, so this is just basically, uh, <clears throat> we plug the servo back in. So we're not gonna, we shouldn't get any errors. So, fingers crossed. battery's dying um that's all i got to say about it uh thank you guys for sticking around a uh, quick install of the headers um i'm gonna leave this thing apart because i'm gonna get the top part torn out but i just wanted to give you guys um what this thing's gonna sound like it's angry angry so thank you guys again uh do the normal hit the subscribe button smash the like button and then ring the bell notification bell notification is going to give you a notification of future content uh we've got the brent tune going in a huge shout out and huge thank you to manny over at million motor million uh if you guys need any parts for your s1000 um hit him up but thank you guys again and we'll see you next video bye guys